we generate the energy plot showing that the water influx or water drive is the dominant drive mechanism for our reservoir. And we also perform matching for well level, the fractional flow matching. And now we are ready to do prediction. So let's go to production prediction, prediction setup. Okay, so from here, for the predict, we can open the drop down menu. And in this case, we will choose production profile from or production profile using well models. And for the options, we check the use fractional flow model. Okay, and then for the prediction step size, automatic. And for the prediction end, in this case, we will end the prediction at 1st January 2015. Okay, for prediction start, we will start the prediction from the end of production history. All right, so we have production history, and of course, we will start the prediction. I recommend you to start the prediction at the end of production history, and you can end the prediction at this date or at your preference date. Okay, so we can click done. All right. And now again, production prediction, this one, well type definition. Okay, you see here we have two history wells, history from well one and from well two. Okay, to the prediction, we will create a prediction well, which is actually the same well. So well one, this is for history well, but now I will create a prediction well version for well one and prediction well version for well two. Okay, so click this one, well one. Okay, if I click done, I have this new well, which is actually this well, but used for prediction. Okay, that's what we do in Embal software, okay. So I will move this first, okay. And also, I can also add second well, click done. Move the second well for a prediction well. All right. Okay, so we can go to the first well. All right, you can see we have set up well type oil producer, okay? And we have inflow performance, more inflow, outflow performance, okay? Let's be careful here. We start with inflow performance. And for inflow performance model, we will use straight line productivity index plus Fogel below the bubble point pressure, okay? And fractional flow model, we will use this one, use rel perm one, okay? But we need to edit the data, okay? All right, here, we have rel perm from Cori function, okay? And then hysteresis no, modified no. And here we can copy the relative permeability results obtained from the previous fractional flow matching. Okay, so click copy and you select this one, material balance from well one. Click copy. Now I extract the relative permeability results from fractional flow matching for well one. I extract that and distribute the data, the results to this table. Okay, residual saturation, the endpoint, and also the exponent. All right, so far so good. Done. Do you wish to copy the water breakthrough from the copied relative permeability curve? The water saturation at 15%, yes. Okay. And here we have productivity index. I will input 15 stock tank barrel per day per PSI. Test water cut zero. All right. And the other, let's leave it as per default. 
Okay. Done. Inflow performance for well one. And we do that for the second well. Or I can prefer using rel perm two. Copy from well two. Okay. And I will put the productivity index to be 10 stock tank barrel per day per PSI. Validate. All right. Now go back to well one, check more inflow. Let's leave the other or leave this step as per default. And now we go to outflow performance. All right. So from here, we have outflow performance selection, either using constant flowing bottom hole pressure or tubing performance curves. Okay. And in this case, I've prepared the tubing performance curves. I've prepared the VLP, the vertical lift performance, and I will put the results, the prepared VLP or the prepared TPC to Embal. I click edit. All right. And now I will import. Okay. I just prepare the data. I will press import. Okay. All right. And from here, I will select this one open okay finish all right so automatically populated the vlp data all right this one in my opinion is the most troublesome the most complex section of the embal but you can easily create this data using well modeling software like prosper you create several Scenarios, scenarios for wellhead pressure, or in this case, manifold pressure, water cut, GOR, and you will extract this one, the flowing bottom hole pressure from the scenarios. And I can plot. This is the plot. I have the IPR and I have the VLPs. All right, finish. Done. Okay, done for first well. Or I now will complete the well two, edit, import this one. Done. Plot. All right. Finish. Finish. Done. Okay. So I've created two prediction wells, which are actually well one and well two. Okay. But here I have history well, history well one, history well two, and now I create prediction well one and prediction well two. Okay, so we go back to the production prediction well schedule. 